Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, it is finally here. Euro 2024 begins today with Germany and Scotland, which of course begins the path to glory upgrades for those cards today and many of the others as they go out of packs, but also the new cards that are coming to Ultimate Team today, the Make Your Mark promo cards. We have more info about this promo, the SBC that is expected to come out today, the evolution as well, and what you'll need to be thinking about if you plan to invest in either a Make Your Mark card, which could get an upgrade today based off somebody making a debut, or a Path to Glory that is going out of packs. Guys, right, so there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Quickly, let's go over yesterday's content. There wasn't a whole lot to discuss. There was one surprise, but the player SBC was not a surprise. It was the last of the leaked cards that we had had. It was Conrad Lamer. Of course, a live card representing Austria. I mean, guys, this card looks decent. I think the problem with this card for me is the price. Like, the 85 squad, sure, but this should be an 86 rated squad, not an 88. I think that's making this SBC a little bit undue in terms of the price. 160,000 coins. Unless you're a Bayern fan or rooting for Austria to get some upgrades, think they could be a bit of a dark horse and get some wins and make it further than the tournament, then you would probably be doing this SBC. The card itself, actually, when you look at the play styles that he has, he's got every single defensive play style, which is crazy as a center defensive mid, incisive and pinged pass as well. This card could end up being a gem, but how long is it out for? It's out for six days, so you'll get a bit of a chance to see Austria play at least one game, maybe two. I haven't haven't looked at the schedule for them, I guess, but that one yesterday is not being completed by too many people just because of the price. I think that's the biggest thing and maybe people's lack of hype for the upgrades for Austria. We also had marquee matchups that was dropped yesterday, but really quickly to close things out, guys, all that we had besides those two SBCs yesterday was some new objective content. One part of that was the cup, a new one nation frenzy cup. They doubled down guys. I thought maybe they would do like a, you know, France or a Netherlands or a Spain, but they went straight to double down with England. So we have the champs objective for English cards and we have the cup for English cards as well. So everybody right now is running around with English teams on this game. And guess what? English cards on the market are going even more nuclear in price. Remember when Harry Kane was like 600,000 coins? flat and we thought that that was pretty crazy well the bro went to over 700,000 coins yesterday for a card that was literally 300k just a couple just a week ago just a week ago into ultimate tots uh during the middle of ptg he was 350,000 coins and now he's all the way up to 700,000 coins again guys we are in the biggest inflationary period for a lot of these english cards 100 percent uh they're going to be great to trade with today because people are going to be playing foot champs with these cards they're also going to be playing uh the cup with these cards as well jude bellingham who i sold yesterday is up another 200,000 coins he's 1.8 1.9 mil it is crazy how much these english cards are going up just don't get stuck holding on to them for too long because again this is near the peak of the demand with the cup and the weekend league both being played a lot now the rewards for this uh objective once again they're not that good it's the same thing as last week really not a whole lot to talk about here but the biggest thing honestly is that it brings xp right a lot of us are wanting xp to try to get to level 10 and beyond hit that that threshold that mark but it's going to be tough with the xp here there's a little bit from the uh, mixed nations usa and uruguay but not a whole lot of xp ea's kind of they're slow dripping the release of the XP so far to start things off. The last thing from yesterday's content, which was really interesting, was a country badge collection. And the problem with this is, A, it's not counting correctly when you get these badges. And B, a lot of people don't seem to know where to get these. And EA don't really make it clear where you get these. I think, guys, to get these badges, you either have to buy them off of the market or pack them. From some pack that gives out, you know, those club items. It says here that if you send the item to the club, it'll count. People have been trying to, like, send them their transfer list and then send them back down into the club. That has not been working. Um, I don't know. It seems to be not counting correctly as well. I don't know, guys. This one is really, honestly, it feels like a poor attempt at a Panini sticker card um, collection book type of thing, but it's with the badges. So you get 78 plus player picks out of that. It's not worth and going and buying those four, in my opinion. But if you're going to go and buy a couple of them to like finish it off, it is best to buy them off of the 
web app or the companion app because you cannot search them as easy for the national teams here on the console. That's just one thing to mention. Um, and then also, yesterday there was a lot of a store issues um, not on PS5 where I'm playing this game, but evidently on PC, on Xbox, and on PS4, there was a lot of issues with people not being able to open packs. Like the store would just glitch out and become un invisible, which is, uh, if you're EA, kind of a massive problem. Like nobody could open their 85.5s. It was kind of just like a game crippling glitch, or I don't know what you would call it, just a broken part of the game yesterday. Let's open this last 84 times 3 no promo card. I'm not saving any packs for today because I think the PTG cards, as we've been mentioning, ooh, Diani, that's nice. I think the PTG cards are clear. I am excited for the cards that are coming out today, but there's going to be enough packs like the 85.5 refreshing. I was able to pack Bruno Gima Reich yesterday. That was kind of like my last nice pack pull. This is the, Ger or not the German, this is the English squad that we're going to be rocking through weekend league with. We got four and one in qualifications and we're going to try it out. We're going to do it. It's not a very powerful squad, but it is fun to have a challenge. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people were doing yesterday, either playing the cup or playing champs qualifiers with English teams or their main teams. Um, but yeah, honestly, I feel like I've had a really, really good PTG with the cards that I've been able to pack, the SPCs that I've been able to do. I know I spent a lot of coins on the store packs. Like I opened three 650K packs and those didn't even give me my best cards. Like um, Barcola SBC was honestly one of the best PTGs that I have. And we look at the icons, uh, and, or the Copa cards as well. You know, I think some of my best pulls were actually Copa PTGs, where with the Benton Core, the Tyler Adams, the Bruno Guimaraes, we're really excited for that. And then, of course, we had the Vidic in the greats of the game. So, really, really excited about that one. Oh, yeah, we packed a lot. Nedved, Suker, Petit, Schmeichel, Vidic. Did I get any heroes? I didn't. I didn't pack Beasley. I was really hoping to get him. Haven't gotten them yet. So I'm excited for the end of PTG because I'm ready for these cards to go up in price as we've invested in them and for the upgrades to start ringing in as the competition begins today. But I'm also looking forward to the Make Your Mark promo today, guys. And that's what I want to slide into talking about next because as we covered in yesterday's promo, this has potential, but also at the same time, we're a little skeptical, right? And as you maybe just noticed, and I just noticed actually, the car designs are in the game, which is always great. And I believe that EA is already preparing ahead of time. One of the biggest things and one of the critiques that we had even in yesterday's video was the fact that they maybe weren't going to able to be able to upgrade the cards fast. Well, the fact that they already have a Euro Make Your Mark Plus car design in the code makes me think that that's the upgraded chemistry version, which technically, if they're dropping a German or a Scotland player today uh, as one of these Make Your Mark players, if they make a debut, they should be able to get that chemistry boost and be the Make Your Mark Plus car design, hopefully pretty quick. So I like that both those car designs are already in the game and showing there. That is nice. So there's a ton of cards leaked, guys. Just like last week with Path of Glory, we saw all the leaks and we were like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's the same thing for the Make Your Mark promo the players that are coming today. This is the full list of players that are leaked right now. Like, I don't even know how many that is, but that is a ton of players once again. But what is EA going to do to make this promo special, to make this promo legit and to make it stand out? I think, guys, they're trying to get some big name players in here, right? With Leal, VVD, Nuno Men, Shuameni, Cole Palmer, right? Garnacho, McAllister, Martinelli, he's probably going to have a cracked card. So they're putting in some pretty big name players. Of course, they're alive, so that adds to the hype of the aspects as well. But I really do think, guys, that four playstyle pluses are going to be a part of some of these cards today. Again, I don't think it's going to be all of them, but I could see some of the bigger players, higher rated ones, already have a team of the season. EA trying to differ differentiate from those TOTS cards by giving them the four playstyle pluses. Martinelli, maybe he gets four today. Cole Palmer, he's somebody who I think could get four. Maybe Rafael Leao, as we mentioned as well, since he's pretty high rated. And of course, VVD, as he's kind of like the headliner player of this promo. But I think, guys, just like what happened when they dropped the first three playstyle pluses on this game, is that these cards are going to be pretty expensive. I don't think that a four playstyle plus player is going to be that cheap. Just, again, the way that how EA have introduced the new playstyle pluses in the past, uh, it's usually the new cards that have the extra playstyle plus are very, very expensive, and they're very hard to pack, even if some of the other cards in the promo team are not. Like, to mention, like, you know, let's say we have this Kiwior today for Poland. That could be a really fun card, but depending on 
uh, his rating, he's probably going to be a pretty cheap. And as you look at the full leaked name of players, you got a lot of cards in here, maybe Teate, maybe Ba, maybe that middle stack card from Germany. It depends on the rating, of course, but a lot of these cards could be cheap. And I would have to imagine that the pack weight would be semi-similar to what we saw during Path to Glory, where it was like really, really common to pack the lower tier to the middle tier of cards, right? I mean, I packed the guy, what was his name? Lassiter uh, from Copa America PTG. I packed him a bunch this week, multiple times. Um, and I think that's kind of how it's going to be. But of course, more difficult to pack some of those higher tier cards, um, and especially the ones that are going to have four play style pluses. So there's going to be a lot of fodder that it's in this team it, by the way that it looks but also one thing to mention is this is leaked to be a two-week promo and again that's even by ea some of the pack codes been added they are specifically week one make your mark player items that are coming out of those packs so yeah it all just depends on number one how much they juice these players up because i think for most people today if you see a brand new promo card of let's say i don't know sure many right sure many's got the full birthday or maybe cole palmer is a better example because we have his team in the season right um if they're dropping a live card version of cole palmer on FC24 today is going to upgrade, right? It's got to somehow stand out above his team in the season. If it's not 95 rated uh, and four play style pluses or 96 rated, with maybe with even... I think Cole Palmer that would be 96 rated even with three play style pluses would probably be a little bit underwhelming just because of the state of the year that we are in. Cole Palmer is going to be one of the big names in the promo. I think four play style pluses has to be a key for a lot of these. But then even for the ones that are like lower rated and like even more fodder or the middle tier type of cards, maybe like a Quoto or a Mudrick, maybe McAllister from Argentina, like those cards even need to have a bit of a stat juice on them as well. Because think about it, they just dropped all these PTG cards that are most of them going to get upgraded for winning one game. That's very, very likely. Uh, and so these cards kind of have to keep up with the power curve as well. That's going to be a big thing today is how hype these new cards I'm a little skeptical, as you've been saying, but what are ways that EA could continue the hype? They could give out another free global loan pack, right? They did that last week, giving out one of those to everybody in the store. So like everybody was able to pack a PTG card first hour, first minutes from yesterday, right? Now, there's no new pack code that's been updated to say that we're getting like a make your mark global loan pack i think there would have to be something before content today because the other one i'm pretty sure was specific to path to glory uh but that's something that could come out they only dropped one of those last week i thought they were going to incorporate the global loans more than they actually did so maybe they're going to do that this week and that could impact the market a little bit um but again really it's just the last piece of hype for these cards today is is that they have hype for the upgrades because like starting today with the Germany Scotland game like McTominay right McTominay is the leaked card for Scotland if he sees the pitch which he's probably going to start in my humble opinion of just clicking through really quickly Scotland's most recent matches he's a big player for them um you know he's going to be due an upgrade and again it all depends on how EA update these cards um and that's going to impact prices like with McTominay playing today and with Middlestat, who is the German league card playing today, that's going to 100% impact these prices from the get-go as people are going to say, oh, well, shoot, if McTominay sees the pitch, he's going to get the extra chemistry boost that is uh, mentioned on the menus. And then it all just comes down to when does he get upgraded? Guys, there could be EA mistakes with this today. If he's out on the market as a regular Make Your Mark card, but as you saw, there's a Make Your Mark and a Make Your Mark Plus. We've seen this happen before with like uh, cards that got upgraded. I think it was a fantasy promo two years ago. Like sometimes the cards that were existing on the market did not get upgraded. So you could list your card for like three days and there would be like, one version that was still there, but the new ones were also on the market for a cheaper price, but people would still be buying the old one because they were used to searching for that card at the other price. Like there's been mistakes before with that. So I just foresee some issues with these live upgrades. I don't know what it's going to be, but I just, I think there's going to be some problems. So all I'm saying is there's going to be an incredible opportunity to flip these new cards and the path to glories because of the live aspect of this stuff today. But let's keep continuing talking about the Make Your Mark promo. What are some things that are going to shift some things up today? Well, we have a leaked SBC player, and it's a player who had a really meta team of the season, right? Who in the, watching this video today used Garnacho Tots moments during Prem Tots, 
I got him as one of my weekend league red picks, and he was a beast. I know some of you guys have even evolved him to a 94 rated because he fit some of those champs corner evos. He's evidently coming as a make your mark SBC player today. I wonder if it's going to be similar to Araujo, right? Remember the Araujo SBC had a TOTS card that people had evoed that was just as good, if not better, than his card that came out. Now, of course, this new one would be live, and this would be a live version of Garnacho, as, of course, Argentina are very heavy favorites once again, and one of the top teams in Copa America. There's going to be a lot of people doing this SBC just because he is Argentine, and, of course, he's a Manchester United player. Here's my question. His TOTS was very good, but will EA give him four playstyle pluses? And since we're just at the beginning of four playstyle pluses being added to this game, I think the answer to that would be no. I doubt he has four, but if his playstyle plus is like, let's say he gets finesse, quick step, and maybe they give him like technical instead of acrobatic on this card, that would give his new card a lot of extra juice and a lot of extra hype in game, especially if, if you know, guys, they could with these cards for the make your marks, they could drop a lot more five star, five star type players. Uh, because again, with the upgrades in the way that they are, it's only skill. It's not even skill moving weak foot boost. It's just plus one overall, plus one overall in the chemistry. So I have to wonder, that's another thing that EA could do today with this team is maybe give out more 5-5. Five five. That's something that we've been watching with PTGs since that's part of the upgrade path a little bit. You know, it seems like it's been held back, the 5-5. Five five. A lot of cards are 5-4 five or 4-5. Four five. Luis Diaz, for example, um, Barcola, right? Maybe they're going to go all out with these cards and drop some more of those in. That could impact the market today. But even another thing you have to consider with these live cards is, especially with the make your marks is Garnacho going to actually see the pitch I just did a little bit of digging in the three friendly matches that Argentina has had they have one more today they play Guatemala before Copa he has been in two he started one game and came on as a sub in the other and did not play against Ecuador so it seems likely that he would at least get subbed on if not start um, and again you need five appearances so for a player like him, it's going to be crucial for him to get subbed on. But that's something we're going to have to consider with these cards that get dropped as SBCs. And even as you pack these players, are they going to actually get upgrades? That's just a whole something new we're going to have to figure out because this is a very different upgrade path than what we are used to. So that's the SBC player that is coming today. For Evolutions, we are getting those Academy midfielders, guys. The pack was added to the code a couple of days ago. Finally, we're getting another evolution. It's been very slow on this front. Uh, we had the attackers. I actually haven't started any of these. I really thought about doing Sterling, and he would help out my um, English attack. But I don't think I'm going to get the card done in time to play the weekend league game starting today. So I don't know if it's worth it for me. But this is the pack once again. It's only seven players, just like with the attackers. It's going to be seven players, probably, what, three Copa and four uh, for the Euros, just like it was with the attackers. But hopefully they choose some really, really good cards. Of course, a lot of people were unhappy with a few of the versions that were in here before. Richarlison was nice. Olise was the most popular. Sterling and Adiemi were decent as well. Hopefully, they give us some banger players today. They're probably going to stick to the main nations. You kind of noticed there with the attacker cards as well. It was, it was England. It was France. It was Germany. It was the Netherlands. Those are probably going to be um, nations that are focused on today as well for that Evo. Hopefully, they give out big upgrades and big play style pluses that are very useful. Now, let's talk about the market to close things off. Of course, we're going to get objectives today. I'm not expecting a new cup uh, because we have a cup from uh, the Festival of Football that is still out for a whole nother week. And of course, we have yesterday's cup, but we'll get some sort of objective player for the Make Your Mark promo, I'd imagine, today as well. But let's talk market, right? I'm still invested in some of these PTG cards, but here's the question, especially if you invested on a guy like Undav, if you guy, guys invested in Balak because they are playing today, how do you want to mess with these cards? Because selling in the hype is always the safest way to go about things. But also some of you guys might be like, Nate, I think Germany is going to go on and make a run in the tournament. I think they're going to win this game, get an upgrade, right? The first plus one, that's that's the hype, right? There's the, always that first plus one upgrade. Undav is still like right around 210,000 coins. 
If they win today, he's going to a 95. That's hype, right? If they win, his price should go up a little bit, although he's been invested in a lot. If they win, you probably wouldn't want to sell. You could continue to hold on because their group looks like they could get two wins straight off of the bat, and that would progress them towards a third win, right? Which would be a big upgrade and probably a move in price. But the longer the team keeps winning, the more the price should, in theory, just kind of trickle up over time. But if you don't want to risk it, selling in the hype, is the way to go um, for all these cards, the icons, the heroes, and the PTG cards from the euros like today. Now, for me, I don't know. This is a tricky one. Do I want to? Oh, how much is Balak? 428k. Wow, he's up real nice. So we're up like 40,000 coins in this card. That's dope, right? I love the icons because all they have to get is goals. It doesn't, who cares about wins, right? All that matters is goals. But these cards today is going to be the beginning of where we see these prices fluctuate a lot for these games as they come out right because there's going to be a lot of movement inside of the games as people who have freshly made investments in these cards like let's say scotland go up first today what are you going to see you might see dog leash go up a little bit kieran tierney is the only other card that is in this promo that is scottish but he's in the objective section so he's not going to have market movements um, but really if if scotland score first what are you going to see you're going to see Undav, you're going to see Fulkrug, you're going to see these guys drop. They're going to get panic sold because people are going to be like, oh shoot, Germany's losing. They're not going to get the upgrade. I got to sell my card, right? That's going to be the market kind of momentum on these cards if like the underdog scores first and the favorite does not. But with that being said, these cards are going out of packs today. I still think if you get some low prices, there's good investment potential here. I actually picked up a Pedri yesterday um, for 688 or something like that. Kavicha is 360. He's actually going up a lot. And I can start to see Ruben Diaz is up a little bit. Saliba's up a little bit. Chiesa, Kyle Walker, they're just starting to slowly creep up in price. Trossard as well. Lukaku was up some. Gavardiol's up like 10, 15,000 coins. You can tell that these cards are just slowly starting to creep up as people are kind of buying them and they're not getting packed as much and it's just kind of like all right today's the big day these cards are going to be getting their upgrades soon or at least chasing their upgrades soon and the fact that they go out of packs um there could be one more dip it all depends on the content today if there's really good SBC content if ea surprises us with something there could be a dip on these cards around the content drop time that's kind of what we saw during ultimate tots and during ptgs right is the market dipped for like that hour or two after content and then it went up afterwards and that could be the thing that we see today of course with the english cards this might be one of the best places to trade today on this game the popular meta cards that people are using for weekend league these cards will be moving they will be fluctuating and there's probably going to be like we see that peak around the start of the weekend league uh, actual start time, right? Is, is Lauren Hemp a Tots Plus or a, or not? I think she's a regular Tots. Yeah, Man City English Links. How much is she though? Because she was like um, 120K, 180,000 coins. Gosh, these English cards are just absolutely exploding. If they're down at all, just watching the flipping graphs today, I think a good buy time would be after content right away and then they could rise into the start of Weekend League. But also at the very start of Weekend League, you have the start of the Germany Scotland game. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the market does, um, you know, especially for this game, since there's going to be so many eyes on it. If somebody from Germany scores a banger goal, like let's say Musiala, who does not have a live card, scores a banger goal. This is another thing you could watch for the market today. People are going to want to come back to the game and use the Musiala that just absolutely, you know, destroyed out there. So a card like this Musiala Tots, if he scores a banger, could move up on the market a little bit, right? You know, that's the sort of thing you could see with a rare card from Germany. If somebody were to score a good goal today, that's something to keep in mind too. And then, of course, if you're following these games and want to watch them in real time, this foot.gg tracker might be the best live tracker of any tracker for any live promo on any website ever. This tracker is insane, man. And you can see the tracker for the players. Click down here. You can click over to Undav and for Fulkrug. Uh, again, there's Doug Leash, there's Tierney. This is insane. It's honestly mental. You can see all the different players if you click the drop down as well. It's great. So these scores are going to get updated in real time as well, according to foot.gg. So just keep an eye on this. Maybe it's like have the game pulled up, have this pulled up. No, that's You don't need that many screens, right? But definitely keep an eye on this tracker and keep an eye on the scores and the prices today if you're invested 
in these cards we're going to be live streaming today during that first game and one thing i'm going to be doing a bunch of is watching the prices of these german cards and watching the rest of the market as well as this first euros game unfolds because it's going to really give us some insight on how much the cards are going to move and how much hype there's going to be for these cards going forward into the next few games so that's going to be a blast i cannot wait for that today especially with the euros games finally being on the competition is here we're going to have more live cards with the make your marks and uh you know even the copa cards they're a week away from their games but there still could be some good movements and the rare ones like this depaul since enzo ended up being an objective and not an sbc and not a lot of people were getting enzo that's going to be a card you're going to want to watch and then of course for some of the cards that are getting promos today that have been panic sold like this vvd expect some bounce backs on some of the cards because their new ones are going to be mad expensive so watch english cards today of course keep an eye on the ptgs and the new make your marks and we'll see if ea surprise us with anything guys really watch out for the predicted or the actual stats remember how we have the leaks then we have the actual stat leaks dropped like a couple hours before content that's going to be something to watch very closely today as well but we will be talking about it all on stream when we get on for the start of make your mark today that link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there and i will see you guys in the twitch stream today happy euros day if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new see you guys in the stream today it's been the for the count see you there peace out.